How's the knee? He's good. All right, buddy. Put my face down for you. I want you to take nice deep breaths for me, please. There you go. How you doing? Good, man. When's your fight? Uh, same night as this. You're fighting on the same, same car? Man. Prelim? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, fight pass. Nice, yes. nice. Congratulations Thanks, to you. Man. That's great, man. Tell me what that feels like now. Way better. Way better? Yeah. I'll, I'll see him again. Or okay. No problem. You let me know. I mean, if you want to get seen again, I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see how it feels. I'm training tonight, so if it feels like last night when I was kicking, I just feel it when I was picking it up, it was pinching. Yeah. I gotta go work it out. Let's try it out a little bit in my back in my gym a little bit. You mind throwing a little yeah, bit with right. Miles? Let's, let's try it, okay? It's a little bit of impact. I felt like a little tweak right at the end. Okay, hit it again to turn over. Yeah, I mean, it's very minimal. Okay. That's it. One more okay. good one. Nothing? Yeah, it's minimal. Okay. I'm going to give you a little bit of ice on it. Okay. I'm going to rip through a couple more passes, and we'll see what we get. Okay? Perfect. Thanks. It's amazing to see, man. I mean, uh, not only for myself, but for the UFC to be on this box, man. I mean, the sport's come a long way, and for Wheaties to recognize the UFC like that is just it's huge, man. So, uh, big, big step for myself and for the UFC as a whole. So, I'm very proud to be part of this. My biggest inspiration is my mom. Um, to see how, how much she sacrificed for her sons to, uh, to, to be where we're at today. I mean, and, and things like this, you know, being on the Wheaties box, I can't wait to go show my mom and say, you know, look what you, look what you did. You know, all that sacrifice you've done, you know, is leading to this. Yes. All right, let's go do this. You know, I feel like I really represent the, the normal man, the, the hardworking, blue collar, normal man, you know. I'm not no flashy dude wearing gold chains and trying to run off the cage, you know, I'm just, I'm hard work. Now it's become a career, you know, now this is what puts uh, food on my table. Now there's the added pressure of having to, you know, deliver for a family. It's not about me anymore, it's about fighting for my daughter, it's about fighting for my wife, my, my dad, and it's a little more added pressure, but that's what fuels my fire nowadays. It's definitely a team victory, not just a, a solo victory, so, you know, I can't wait to throw that belt around my dad's shoulder. What's up? Johnny Henders. Uh, uh, yes. Very I nice to it. meet you. Shelton Johnson, one each. Yeah, you, your uh, your wife want to come in? <laughs> yes, she. Well, she does, but she she does she's not into the real men soap operas. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I understand. Right. I am a sergeant first class, soon to be retired, 27 years. Former Marine as well. Army values, Marine Corps spirit. Love what I do and do what I love. Timing is perfect. I just happened to come by. I seen the sign. I'm like, wow, well, gotta come in and look. So you're in the military? Yes. Well, actually. thank you for your service. One of my uncles and my brother both did two tours in Afghanistan and Iraq. Awesome. So I appreciate the military and everything they do. Hey, you want to take a picture? We can take a picture, too. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, and then we, I'll put it up on Twitter, and then you can have oh, it off man. that. I got to get Twitter. One, two, three. How are you, sir? You're right. Nice to meet you, man. I, I know. Nice to you, man. you got a strong going, man. hand grip, man. Of course, I support the USC, oh, nice. and I support the rest of every bit of anything that goes on in our good old United States of America. That's how we do. There we go. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you, man. Oh, I appreciate it. Man. For real. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks good a to lot. See it feels special. <laughs> nerves, man. Nerves. What do you know about that? I mean, it's part of the process. Nerves, being scared. You know, I think Travis Brown is scared right now and nervous. So nerves are good. Part of the process just sucks, man. It sucks. There's no scarier job in the world than being a heavyweight fighter in the UFC. You're fighting these monsters. And I'm only about two. First one is just straight on, just down. Yep. Okay, man, here we go. Cool. See you guys. Thanks, man. What's up, brother? We're heading to Travis. Right Papa? Now. Papa. Papa? The big man. That's sick, dude. That's going to be a good man. fight. Yeah. Yeah. How's your body? Feel good? Yeah, yeah. I was working in with Giff and uh, Frank today. Nice. Uh, Frank's awesome. Yeah, he's a man. He's a sicko. Yeah. Hell yeah I mean, for a skilled, for a world champ, you know. For he's a world right. champ, he's not the He's all right. Mr. Foreman's a high school here in Las Vegas. We have a top 10 in the nation sports program. We have a lot of these guys like Travis Brown, Frank Nier, they come in, train with the kids. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome for the kids. It's pretty awesome for the athletes. Ricky time is you text them, and you call them, and then three days later you text them again. And a week later you call them, and then maybe three weeks later he gets back to you. 
Yeah. Hey, bro, just saw this. <laughs> Motherfucker, you're lying. <laughs> you're always on your phone. I know it because I see it. Stop lying. Just make sure everything's warmed up in there. <laughs> Nice, that was nice. Now, you feel that hip switch? That was perfect. They're out at my house in Albuquerque in the middle of the night. Ricky starts freaking out. <laughs> Frank's, I was Frank's, freaking Frank's out. like, I was asleep for a while, man. She's probably sleepwalking. I'm, so he he totally got naked and started getting into bed with Ricky. Yeah, 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 yeah. This whole comes back and I step in like this. I'm gonna get in. And then it's Ricky going. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, like, fuck! Oh! <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you been? Very good. Very good. How's How the much? going? Huh? How'd the hunting show go? Pretty good? Too much time. Robbie is a good friend of mine, so is Johnny, so it's for the welterweight title. Yeah. And so this is a big fight for me. Two buddies fighting for it, and I used to hold the belt. These guys are two big heavy hitters. There's no doubt somebody's going to get hurt in this fight. I don't know if it's going to be a knockout or a TKO, but, uh, you know, there's gonna be some stumbling out there for sure. This is embedded. It's embedded. Here's episode one. My son has toys everywhere. We couldn't get this thing out either. Look at this. So we just bashed it open to get it out of there. Is that John? Is that John? Yes, John. Johnny wouldn't let me do anything. Johnny wouldn't let me do anything.